So one day I was browsing the Clipper Reddit and I found this question. Intel compute sticks, huh? And what about the Raspberry Pi locator? Compute modules? What the f***? So back to the rabbit hole it goes. So the compute stick I got is the STK1AW32SC. And straight from the horse's mouth, it features a Intel quad-core Atom CPU running up to 1.92 gigahertz, 2 gigabyte of RAM, 32 gigabyte of internal eMMC storage, and a SD card slot. The connectivity wise, this has built-in dual band AC Wi-Fi and Bluetooth 4.2. This thing is exactly what we need for Clipper. On the physical side, we got the HDMI port where we got the video from. We have the power button, press and hold to turn off and press it again to turn it back on. A micro USB port for power, a USB 2.0 port for keyboard and mouse, and I use a keyboard and mouse combo. A USB 3.0 port that is available for peripherals such as a camera. On the other side, you have the micro SD card slot. You cannot use it to boot though. There's a slot for something like a lanyard, maybe some kind of chain to secure itself. And finally, some ventilation holes with a fan on the top. In terms of size, the compute stick is longer than the Raspberry Pi, but thinner. But overall, area seems to be similar. One of the problems integrating the compute stick to your 3D printer is perhaps the fact that there's no ready-made design for it. But a mounting tape will do for now. First, I plug this thing as intended to make sure it works. This thing runs Windows, and the guy who sold it didn't even bother wiping the data. It looks like it came from a school. Actually, the label Cicero 99 probably refers to a school district in Illinois. Doesn't matter. We wipe the data by installing the Linux operating system on it. So what I did is to go to Ubuntu's website, look for the server image and download it. Make sure it's the x86 or x64 architecture, unlike the Raspberry Pi, which is the ARM platform. I also choose the server version because I don't need the graphic interface once it's installed and in service. Not loading graphical interface will make it run fast. You can also use your favorite flavor of Linux. I could have gone with Debian as well. Once the OS install image is downloaded, I flash it to a USB stick using the Blena Etcher. The program will tell you it failed, but it's okay because the flash drive is no longer readable by Windows after the flash. The next step is to turn the compute stick while the USB drive is plugged in. I press F2 at boot screen to enter the BIOS, make sure the USB boot is selected, then reboot and wait for the compute stick to find the USB drive and boot from it. Here's a pretty standard OS installation screen. You choose a keyboard layout, the network connection if possible. Ubuntu already detected a wireless card and added the support. So I added the Wi-Fi info here. I let the system decide how to erase and use the system disk. Then I just confirm everything. I added the account info and let it run. It will take a while so sit back. The installer failed on me once but I choose to try again. This time with the installer update it went with no further issues. Now the installation Ubuntu is finished. I unplug the USB and hit enter to reboot and now it comes to a text only login screen. I logged in with the account I set up earlier that hit up the IP address and read out the IP address on the screen. Now it's time for putty. Now I go back to my workstation and file PuTTY, enter the IP address, and connect it to the same account. I update the system with the following command. Then I put in the KIA UH script and run it to install first Clipper, Moonraker, Mainsail. This process will take almost an hour if you sit next to it. So while all this happens, you might want to try to do some multitasking like how I'm writing the script for this video now. Once all the components are installed, you then turn up your browser and go to the IP address and boom, we met with MCU not connected message. Of course, I haven't connected to the printer yet. So I copied over the configuration from uh, Fruit's instance that I normally use, import it back to main cell, turn off the compute stick, move it to the computer, connect the controller board to the compute stick and turn it on. Main cell responded after a minute or so and I'm missing some configuration. Okay, let me fix that. After fixing configuration and reboot again, main cell connects to the printer and and the print is successful. Performance wise, this compute stick is running at 5% CPU load during the entire print and 23% memory footprint. The compute stick is just doing great. So here's another way to get around the Raspberry Pi shortage if the clipper is what you want to install. Uh, if you need any help or have any questions or comments, just drop down below and uh, I have a Discord channel if you're interested. Thank you for watching and you have a good day.